Hello, my kindergarten friends. In this video, you will be seeing how to complete your monster artwork for week number two, focusing on color. So you can create your monster any way you want. So if you want to paint it, you can. If you want to draw it, you can. Collage it or whatever, however you want, you can do that. But I'm gonna show you how to create your drawing on your iPad, should you choose to do it that way. So, when you are ready to upload to Seesaw, you're going to go into Seesaw and make sure you're in your art class. You don't want to do this in any other class. So if you need to, go into your name up here, click that, and then find your art class. You're going to want to scroll through kindergarten art to find whichever class you're in. So I'm going to use the sample class as my example. And to upload your drawing, just like my very angry monster here. Um, you can see it has like a laptop and an iPad and storm cloud. It's just kind of how I'm feeling right now, my friends. Um, to upload your monster, here's what you're going to do. You're going to click on the activities button right here. And then you're going to find the activity that says week two color kindergarten. That's the one you want. So by now, you've already done steps number one and two, you looked at the Nearpod, and you've also completed your artwork. Now, to add your artwork, you're going to press this green Add Response button. Let's do that. And it will take you to this page. Now, if you need to take a photo of your artwork because you already did it, you can press that and snap a picture of it. But if you want to draw on here, I'm going to press the Drawing button, the little, uh, I guess, pencil there. So when you go to create your artwork, you're going to want to think, hmm, what emotion is my monster going to be feeling? So the one that I showed you was feeling angry. I think for this one, it's going to be feeling sad because I won't be able to see any of you for the rest of the school year. So you got to make sure that you are using the correct colors. So with sadness, we saw in the uh, video that blue was used a lot. So I'm going to be using a lot of blue, a couple different shades of blue. I'm going to use my dark blue first, and I'm just going to go ahead and scribble a really big area of blue. Just to start. Whoop, too hard. There we go. Now we're back. I'm going to do some light blue on top just to get a couple of different blues in there. And then I'm going to draw my monster on top of this. So I'm going to use black to go on top. Maybe I'll do a little bit of medium blue in between. Go the other direction. Okay, cool. Got a lot of blue. Then I'm going to go to black. So I'm going to slide this all the way down. And now I'm going to start drawing my monster on top of it. So I'm going to make him not only be blue to show sadness, but also going to use a facial expression to make it sure that we know he's feeling sad. So Give him a little frown, but throw in a couple of teeth in between. Then his body, kind of his furry, his little feet down here. His head kind of comes up. Get his ears back down. Then I'm gonna switch to some white for his eyes. Back to black for the outline. And then get his arms kind of just drooping down by the side like that. So that's a pretty good start. I'm gonna get some of his fur here with the black. Maybe do some light blue make a tear, just kind of drooping down his face, get some black to outline that too, so we can see it a little bit better. And then, now it's time for me to erase all the extra scribbles going around. So I'm going to hit the er eraser button down here, and just start erasing that. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to start erasing, and then in just a second you'll see that done. All right, so now you can see I have a very sad looking monster, but he needs some details to go around him. So I'm going to draw, maybe to kind of repeat that little teardrop that I had, just some raindrops 
Maybe I'll use this uh, marker down here with like all of the fancy little stars going around it. Oh, it's pink. Never seen a pink raindrop before. So I'm gonna erase that. There we go. Let's get it light blue. Oh, perfect. Mr. Sad Monster sitting down in the rain. So I'll draw a bunch of these raindrops. These are light blue, but I can switch it up and maybe do some dark blue too. Yeah, I like that, especially the ones that go on top. All right, so when you're done adding details and you're all finished, you're gonna press this green check up here in the corner to upload your picture. And you're done. Now I'm gonna go back into that because if you wanna do something extra and you want to record a uh, little blurb about your artwork, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Okay, so if you wanna do your voice recording over top, you're gonna to go down into the corner here. There we go. Press those little quotation marks. And then you're gonna press add a voice caption, the little microphone there. And then you can talk about your uh, monster. So, here I go. My monster is feeling sad because he won't be able to see all of his lovely little kindergarten students again this year. He's going to have to wait until they're in first grade. So when you were done, you press that green done check button, and then you go and press that check up here at the top again to upload your work of art. Okay, so now that I am finished with this week, you can go through your friend's artwork and you can see what they did, and you can comment and like their artwork as well. All right, I will see you next week.